guys are probably gonna wonder where these two come from. These two actually I scored from an Hermes sale. However, the downside, which whenever I watch other videos, I really wanna hear like what are the downsides because there's always a good thing, but what is the miss? Hello everybody, welcome back to my first luxury. My name's Vivian, if you're new to the channel and if you're a return viewer, welcome back. This week, I want to talk to you guys about fashion jewelry. I mean, I call them custom jewelry, but fashion jewelry, which just means that they are not made from precious metal like gold or diamond. Hermes fashion jewelry, which are these beautiful click clack bangles. These are some of the pieces that I decided to buy. I was like, I must have one of those in my collection. And I think a lot of people have this one, the white with the yellow. It is considered some of the stable fashion jewelry because the channel is called My First Luxury. And I think most of us could relate that first pieces of jewelry are usually very sentimental and we will always remember when and what's the story behind the purchase decision. Hermes Bingle is definitely one of those that makes me remember when I got these, why I got these, and how I saved up for it. Throughout the years, I have expanded my collection. I've sold some of the colors. I ended up with a few more. Let's get into this and let's talk about whether or not these are worth your money. First of all, for their lineup, these are kind of the unique design that the brand came out with. So there has been just the click clack bangles and there are two sizes. I personally own the PM and the MM. I believe there is an extra large and extra thick one. And because I don't have really skinny wrist, so I kind of tend to just go with either one or the other. The price for them currently skinny, which is a PM size, is now priced at 620 US dollars as of August, 2020. Huh. PM size right now is priced at 690 which I have gotten both of these from a few years ago. I think we're getting into a weird area here. This is actually a my first luxury story that I wanted to share with you guys. I actually got this piece the first trip that I went to Europe. It was basically Love, love that brought that me brought there and I decided to purchase the white one with gold. The brand offers it in three different colors. So there's the silver tone, there's a yellow tone, and also there's a rose tone. At that time, this is just what caught my eye. I could have gone for black, but I just like how clean the white one looks. So I got this one in Munich on the very famous Massimiliano Street. It was definitely a very memorable experience for me because I had purchased some of my first items from the Hermes store there. That's why I still have this piece with me, even though I don't really use it on a daily basis. You guys are probably gonna wonder where these two come from. These two actually I scored from an Hermes sale. That's another video. So if you want me to talk about the Hermes sale from the past, I know this year it's currently happening in New York right now, which is also kind of crazy, I'm pretty sure. If you wanna find out more about the Hermes sale story, leave it in the comment. I can see if you guys have interest so I can do another video on that as well. These two are some of the seasonal colors that they make. I find that red color is not something that you can easily come across but I find it to be very easy to match with things so I actually really like these and when I got these I think the price for them were around $600 $40, so I paid 50% off on both of these colors. I wanted to share whether or not I think this is a good purchase. I do think that if you are someone who is new into the Lux game, or if you want to venture out in the Hermes world, I think, you know, custom jewelry or fashion jewelry is a great place to start. It does make that statement whenever you wear it, and if you chose the right color, it could also match well with your other pieces. 
However, the downside, which whenever I watch other videos, I really want to hear like, what are the downsides? Because there's always a good thing, but what is the miss? I do find this shade of gold tone a little bit too strong for my skin tone. So I do struggle pairing other jewelry with it. And you guys know that I have been pretty much wearing the Cartier pieces on the daily basis. I finally was able to incorporate them into a part of my, my lifestyle. And I do think that the gold tone on this does wear off. You watch the Cartier review video, you know that these were originally rose gold. This one is just a very strong yellow gold tone. So I'm gonna try it on for you guys. With it on, I do find the look of it being a little bit too much. The coatings could chip. I would be careful when it comes down to custom jewelry like this. It's not really made for everyday wear. And whenever you buy something like this, you really have to be careful. You will want to wear them for the time being but definitely not when you're taking a shower or you're constantly wearing it where it's gonna get all scratched up. Some of the concerns that I could imagine is the mechanisms in here will be begin to tarnish over time when the coating breaks off. So I wanted to just put it out there. If you have saved up to buy something like this, it is very nice to have in your collection, but it is not something that you should wear on a daily basis. That's ultimately why fine jewelry is there. That's a whole different topic, but I have previously made videos talking about the difference between fine jewelry and fashion jewelry. So if you want to give that a look, I'll make sure I put it in the links below. This is a very robust and strong material. So I do think whenever I'm wearing it, I find it a little bit hard to twist my angle. So I think it's a little bit harder to wear on the wrist. Also, I just never found myself reach for it. But um, last time when I went to Europe, I did bring some of the pieces with me and I find it to be really fun to wear different jewelry from my collection sometimes so that's the upside when I first approached it I found it hard to open and I'm like how do you open this thing like it doesn't really turn left or right so there is a very very small detail I hope I can show you through the video footage this is how you open it it literally doesn't open from either side let me show you the best way to open it let me flip it around and you'll see a little mechanism here you push it and pretty much that unlocks the bracelet after you push it in you can then release the H buckle here. All right, I'm doing a little bit close up for you guys. So you push it to the side and that opens up the bracelet. You can see the lever here. That's where it goes in. And voila, one more angle from the back. And pretty much opens up the bangle. You guys know I like to show you details. So basically these are the engravings on the inside of the bracelet. It indicates the country of the origin and also there's the Hermes stamp. And the next thing is just to put it on. Same thing, press and hold and then put it on. This locks in the bracelet and it's not really going anywhere. All of the colored part here is actually an enamel and it's gold plated. That's how you open it. Personally, whenever I see someone wearing it, I do think it's like a really cute accessory because I know it's not fine jewelry. So I don't really think too much into it, but I do think it's a really nice piece to have because it's very iconic. It's very recognizable. So I think it's cool if you get it. Personally, because it's not my everyday jewelry to wear, I do think it could be a good thing if you pick the color that suits your lifestyle. For me, I'm that boring person when it comes down to choosing these type of fashion jewelry. So I'll choose something that I'm comfortable with. If you're buying these bracelets right now, I believe they also offer them in really beautiful neutral tones, like the neutrals of gray and the different shades of grays are just so beautiful with rose gold. I think if I were to add another piece, I'll probably choose one of those. And if you wanna take a different approach, there are also beautiful pastel colors with different shades of yellow or rose tones, so you can choose from that. I see that they started using these beautiful scarf prints or some of these graphic prints on the bracelet I think it's very innovative, but personally, it's not my cup of tea I still feel more comfortable choosing something that is like solid I hope you find it helpful you watch this video because you are thinking to purchase
purchase an Hermes clear clock bracelet, let me know in the comment below what color combination that you are thinking to get and I would love to see that. Also, if you are new to this channel, I'm also here on Instagram, so make sure you give it a follow. I certainly hope you find this video helpful. If it did, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it really means a lot. I look forward to speaking with you guys and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care now, guys. Bye.